Okay, so now it's time to move on to the playlist window in FL Studio. So as we saw before in the step sequencer, we use our step sequencer to build up all our patterns, but then in order to arrange them into, a, into an actual song, we need to use these patterns within the playlist view. So as you can see, I have pattern one selected. And now by using my pencil tool, I can click over here and draw in pattern one. And now previously we were selected on pattern mode here. Once we move this to song mode, now we're into our playlist view. So now if I press play, we get our pattern one and it's just playing in a little loop. We can change this to pattern two here, or likewise, let's change to pattern two here. But if we change this to pattern two, we can use our draw tool and draw in pattern two. Now if we press play, And we can continue to do that if we want it. We could go back to pattern one, go to pattern two, Let's move that back in line there. And there we go there, it'll play as, as before. It'll go pattern one, pattern two, pattern one, pattern two. Just above up here, we have all these tools again. Uh, these are the exact same tools that we saw in the piano roll. They do the exact same thing, so I'm not gonna go through them again. If you're unsure of what they do, um, just have a quick look back into the piano roll video and look at a quick overview of them then. Again, similar to the piano roll, we can use these to zoom in and zoom out to adjust our view. That goes horizontally and then this guy is vertically. And then you can see here we've got track names. So if we can scroll down, we've got lots and lots of tracks. Goes up to track 32 and then like, Get smaller, but all the tracks go all the way up to what are we going down to? 199 tracks. So that's lots and lots of tracks if needed. As we touched on before, FL Studio works quite differently to some other DAWs, such as Cubase or Logic, whereby in those DAWs, each track here would be assigned to a specific instrument, whereby in FL Studio, each track is assigned patterns, and all your instruments are contained within your step sequencer here. So it's a slightly different workflow, but once you get your head around it, it's, it's quite simple, really.